Hello, my name is Luke. Some people know me as Sin City Preacher because I preach the gospel on Las Vegas Boulevard and on YouTube. The purpose of this message is to tell you the truth. I realize that I cannot make you believe it, but that is not my responsibility. However, I am obligated to at least speak the truth. After that, it's out of my hands and the responsibility is then placed on you. Hence the title, Can You Handle the Truth? Some of you will immediately think that I am arrogant to claim that I know the truth. Even so, I will speak it and you will either accept it or reject it. You've heard it said that the truth will set you free. That is true but you cannot know what the truth is until you first know who the truth is. Because the truth is a person and his name is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life and no one can come to the Father except through me. Now that is what I call a bold statement. Jesus said that he is the truth and the only true way to God the Father. In this message, I will attempt to convince you that Jesus is indeed the truth and the only way to God. We have all asked ourselves the following questions. Does God really exist? If so, what is the purpose of life? Which religion is true? Who is Jesus Christ? How can we get into heaven? What happens after we die? The answers to all these questions are in the Bible. Today I have good news for you. And it is my heartfelt desire that through this message you will gain eternal life in heaven. The Bible says this about heaven. There will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. For the old world and those evil things are gone forever. The Bible says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has imagined the things God has prepared for those who love Him. In other words, we cannot even imagine how wonderful heaven will be. Unfortunately, I find it very sad that most people will not go to heaven. Now before you get mad at me for saying such a thing, I want you to know that that is not just my opinion. It is a statement by Jesus Christ. Jesus said, why does the road that leads to destruction in hell and most people are going that way that's right Jesus Christ said most people will go to hell but I have good news for you Jesus also said narrow is the way that leads to eternal life in heaven but only a few people will go that way in this message I will attempt to persuade you to turn and follow the narrow way into heaven. Follow Jesus Christ. In December of 1986, there was a death in my family. It made me wonder, what happens after we die? And what is the purpose of life? I needed answers, so I started reading the Bible that very night and I've been reading and studying it ever since as I read the Gospels of Matthew Mark Luke and John I became a believer I believed that I needed Jesus Christ as my Savior I didn't have any proof the Bible was true but I still believed based solely on faith as the years passed I continued studying the Bible and other related books. 
I was surprised to learn that there was actual evidence and proof backing up the Bible. Now I am compelled to give this knowledge to you. So let me introduce you to the Bible. Today you will learn the following. The Bible is 100% historically correct. Archaeological discoveries continue to support the Bible. Science has been slow to catch up with the Bible. Fulfilled Bible prophecies prove the Bible is inspired by God. The theory of evolution is just a ridiculous fairy tale. And finally, you will learn the purpose of life and what happens after you die. Are you ready? Let's begin. I'll start with a pop quiz uh, just so I can see if you know some basic uh, Bible facts. Did you know the Bible was written on three continents? Asia, Africa, and Europe? Did did you know that the Bible was written over a 1600 year span between approximately 1500 BC and 95 AD? Did you know over 40 different authors wrote the Bible? And they were men from many different walks of life. Some were fishermen, shepherds, politicians, generals, kings, historians. Did you know there are 66 books in the Bible, 39 books in the Old Testament, and 27 books in the New Testament? So how did you do on that little quiz? Isn't it interesting that the Bible was written on three continents over a 1600 year span by 40 different authors from many different walks of life, and yet it is in total agreement, and it has a common theme. That is, man has rebelled against God. But God has provided a way for man to be reconciled with God. And the way of reconciliation is through faith in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins.